Then we see you to bow on bow of me. I want some food. I want ribs. I say, ah, spaghetti time. I say, say, ah, so about some cheeseburgers, some mac and cheese. Gonna get on down with it now. All right. Good morning, everyone. It's a uh, Saturday morning in any town, USA. <laughs> um, I usually get up early on Saturdays and come down, throw a Steely Dan radio on the uh, Pandora and just kind of do whatever I need to do for the day. Um, it's a little dreary outside, um, but the weather is warming up so I have the slider open so you can hear all kinds of noises. I'm, I apologize for that. Um, also, um, I was going to wait for Aiden to wake up, but He's 18 years old, and goodness knows when he's going to get up, but I, I was thinking in bed this morning, oh, I want to make something interesting. What do we have in the refrigerator? Um, so, um, I found some Grand's biscuits, some cheddar cheese, uh, I found some Spam, which I cubed, and uh, just fried up a little bit just so it's already I know it's already done but I didn't want too many things to have to cook inside of what I'm gonna make uh, because this is what's going to do the real cooking um, eggs inside so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make breakfast cups um, but they're not gonna be really cups because I'm actually gonna try to put lids on them I haven't figured out how I'm gonna do all that yet but uh, stay with me and uh, we'll see what happens all right, so I'm at the stove because I've just figured it'll be easy to assemble everything in the stove. Um, right now I have my muffin pan, which I've just, um, I melted a very tiny bit of butter at the bottom just so the um, the cake, the muffin pan, the whatever we're making here um, is nice and fluffy. But I am also gonna give it a good coating of, this is just uh, cooking spray. I know some people don't want to use that if you have one of those um, things that turn olive oil or whatever into a spritz like this, you're more than welcome to use that. Um, I have pretty crappy pans, so I try to oil everything I can as good as possible. Let me grab some more ingredients that I need over here. All right, so I'm going to open up these biscuits. I already have my oven preheating at three 50 and what I'm gonna do is I don't know how you guys cook but uh, I just kind of cook around the kitchen and as I go so this isn't any gourmet by any means so all right so I'm gonna get all my biscuits out here and I have six muffin I have six muffin areas here so I'm hoping what I can do with the last two biscuits is good yes so I'm gonna split the last two biscuits I was hoping to split it into three let's see what I can do here I don't know if you guys can see this or not I'm just taking the biscuit and splitting it I got three out of that one, which is perfect. All right. And I need four. I need six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the biscuit and kind of stretch it out a little bit. And make sure there's no holes. Um, however it's gonna fit in your pan, really. And again, I am just kind of brainstorming this. So if you guys have any better ideas on how to do this, that would be great. 
So I'm pretty much making a nice little round circle. I'm gonna pop it in here. I'm gonna shape it a little more while I'm in here. All right. Try to get up, up the edges as much as you can. And mine's sliding around a little bit because I did use a bunch of cooking spray because I don't want these to stick. All right, so something like that. And I'm going to do the rest of them. And when we return, um, we'll start filling the cake, the cupcakes with uh, cupcakes. <laughs> the cake, oh gosh, the <laughs> muffin pans with um, our fillings. I just took each uh, biscuit and rolled it out with a rolling pin. So if you have a rolling pin or anything that's, um, that can roll stuff out, I would suggest using that because that worked great. So I'm not really sure um, what order you should put stuff in. Um, I know I want the egg to go in last. So I think what I'm gonna do is put, I'm gonna put the cheese in first. So just a little dollop of cheese. My boys love cheese, so I'm gonna kind of go crazy with these here. Um, I'm guessing like a tablespoon or two, depending on how big your cups are. Um, and obviously this would be better you know, done as people are eating, but it's just about 10 o'clock. I think my house will be waking up soon. Then your meat of choice, like I said, we had um, Spam. And I'm going to assume that these are probably gonna overflow, so I'm probably gonna put these on a uh, pan, just so it doesn't destroy my oven. show you guys what this looks like so this is what it looks like before putting the eggs on and now all I'm gonna do is crack the eggs on top in there and what I'm gonna do now is stretch this out a little bit to make a top and I'm just gonna set it in there like so so I don't know if this is pertinent or not but I'm gonna do it anyway with a lot of baking when you have shells like this you want to poke a hole in them just to get the air through so I'm just gonna poke a hole oops I, I hit some of the yolks yolk down yolk down all right and then as an added finish I'm just gonna sprinkle a little cheese on top all right so I'm just gonna pop these on top of this pan and then I'm gonna put them in the oven and check those out that looks pretty good doesn't it and let's see how it works all right so we'll be back in about 15 20 minutes to see the final product all right i'm gonna take these out of the oven i've had them in there for about i think about 20 minutes let's see what they look like here Ooh, wow yeah Trying to do this so I don't burn myself. Check those out. Those actually look way better <laughs> than I thought they were gonna. Um, here, let me get a close up for you guys. 
So check that out. Oop. I'm going to let these cool for a little bit and then I'm going to try to uh, take them out without um, breaking them up. I'm going to go plate one of these babies and let's go check it out, see what it, uh, see what it looks like inside. All right, moment of truth. Here we go, I'm cutting in it. Let's hope we don't have a weirdness going on in here. Let me open it to you this way. Look at that. That's exactly what I wanted in there. Some runny egg action. You got some meat going on in there. You got some cheese. That's beautiful. Love it. All right. I'm gonna... Try to get a little bit of everything in there. All right, I'm not gonna um, eat this in front of you because I don't want you to be jealous. <laughs> but um, there you have it. This was an experiment of mine. I know it's been done many different ways before. Um, if you like what you see here, uh, please comment below. If there's a comment below, I have no idea where I'm gonna leave this stuff. And um, we'll keep chugging along with different recipes. This one came out really good. Um, I'll also try to, you know, again, do a list of what I put in there as far as what I used. And if you'd like, you can make it yourself. If I can do it, you guys can do it. No problem. Anyway, next time you'll see my co-partner uh, back at Eden. Yeah, I'm quite, I'm surprised he hasn't even been down yet. I'm trying to see what time it is. Um, Cause usually when he smells the food cooking, he comes out to see what's up. But anyway, you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I'll talk to you later, bye. Mm, oh, good. Oh, it's still there. Um, this is really good. You need to make some of these for breakfast one day. All you need is a um, can of biscuits, whatever meat you want, eggs, and a muffin pan. That's all you need. Why don't y'all go somewhere? I'm trying to eat. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, oh, I want some food. I want ribs. I say, ah, it's my get it time. I say, say, ah, it's about some cheeseburgers. Some mac and cheese. I'm gonna get on down with it now. I ain't gonna lie, if people don't wake up soon, there ain't gonna be any of these left. You notice I, I'm skipping the knife and the fork because this is how you're supposed to eat these. Mmm, good question. You can make these before going to the market. Eat them while you're walking around. Mmm. Alright, y'all going now.